these guys behind me, they're my wonder kids. Now I'm going to show you 10 from FM22 that have got me really excited to play this game. Welcome back to the channel with me, Andrew, and yes, behind me you'll see shots of Eden Hazard and Benjamin Pavard, who I both watched play for Leo in person when they were teenagers, and I used to be a journalist, used to be a writer, used to do a thing called with 50, picking out the best French youngsters in real life football, and now we've transitioned onto FM, FM22, we're going to look at Wonder Kids in the beta, look at how good they are now. And then we're going to look at how good they are in 2026. Let's get to our first Wonder Kid. We had to kick off with Gavi, the Barcelona central midfielder, and just look at him. A player that's got 15 for first touch, 16 for technique. He's only 17 years old. It's ridiculous. I know in FM21 he had a really small release clause. Everyone snapped him up. You can see now there the value 23 to 28 million. You can probably still get them, but you're going to have to pay a lot for a really young kid. He's already got three star ability. He is one that I think a lot of people, if you've got a long term save, you're going to try and sign Gavi, aren't you? Gavi is ridiculous. He's only 22 still. He's playing for Chelsea. He's valued up to 159 million. He's on 145k a week. Look at those dribbling, first touch, passing technique, vision, off the ball, flair, decisions, composure, agility, world class midfielder at 22 years old. Do whatever you can to sign Gavi. Lorenzo Luca is someone that everyone's talking about, not just in football manager, but in real life as well. The Pisa striker has six goals and nine appearances at the time of recording in Serie B. And look at him, he's six foot seven. He's got 15 finishing, 17 heading. He's 21 years old. He's actually quite fast for a big man as well. Jumping reach of 18, bravery 13. He's a three star target forward. And the way that Heathers are playing in this game so far, you're going to want a bit of Lorenzo Luca. He is only going to get better. Determination's 18 as well. He's driven. I tried to sign him for Atalanta in my beta save, but he's only just joined Pisa. He's won for the second summer. Get him into Serie A or somewhere else. Oh, he's, I'm excited to see how he looks in five years' time. Look at the big man in 2026. Lorenzo Luca still playing at Pisa. What are you doing, European clubs? Finishing's gone to 16, heading 17. All the physicals are there. Mentally excellent. Determination's still really high. Ah, oh, someone's missed a trick here. He's played 184 games for Pisa. And they're still in Serie B. It was absolutely... They went down as well. Oh, he's dominated. You need to get him in to a big team. I need, he's one I need to buy with someone. I want to buy and develop him myself and just make him an absolute monster. I wanted to try and do a couple of unknowns as well. So I found this kid, Uriel Selly, Peruvian, 19 years old, playing for Cantolao, who have a dolphin on their badge, so that's amazing. He is a left-footed left winger, plays on the left or as the AMC, but then he's got crossing of 15. Uh, you can see my, my scout report's not fully come back because he got injured. Uh, 15 passing, 16 technique, He's, he's fairly quick for someone who can dribble and cross and has got a passing. He's off the balls only 11 at the moment. He's fairly determined. So we're going to see how he develops and does he move to Europe within those five years. Because if you get him in now into a really good training system, if his potential ability is high enough, he could be quite come an absolute bargain. Uh, value, the max 1.3 million. You'll get him maybe for half. Should we try? Let, let's see what we can get him for. 425k to come to Lille. Job done. Absolute bargain. It's 2026 and Uriel Selly has gone to, ended up in Amiens in France. Now how much did they pay for him? When did they get him? They got him on a free in 2025. So this is someone you can pick up for 400k. He, for a team like Amion, it looks really good. But I, just, oh, I think he could be so much better where you've got passing of 15. 
Vision 16. He's quick enough. He can cross. He can dribble. First touch. Get him in your youth team early. Get him developing in a first team. Play him. He's got 23 caps of Peru. He'll be better than this. And this looks pretty good for someone who's really cheap. I'd buy him. Next is Oihan Sunset from Athletic Bilbao. And I'll be honest, I've not heard this name before. And I, I used to think I knew all the up-and-coming youngsters. He's 21 years old. He's got two caps in real life for the Spains under 21. Uh, it says there's seven, but maybe, maybe Wikipedia is wrong. Let's go with FM's database. He's four-star central midfielder to come to, to Lee Gun. That's really high. He's already played 39 games with Bilbao. And yeah, 15 first touch, 15 passing, flair determination. For a centre mid, he's quick enough. He's got agility. Everything is in the right place for someone 21. To then take him on, make him better. He's going to cost some money. He's valued at 26 million. But I think you've got a little gem there that could be, could be a fantastic player by the time he gets 26, 27. Could be ridiculous. And if you can't afford Gavi, buy Oihan Sanchez. 16 first touch, 17 passing, 17 technique, vision, off the ball, determination, composures there, acceleration, stamina, natural fitness. He is going to run your central midfield. Seven caps for Spain in this. Four star centre mid still. Still playing for Bilbao. It's criminal. Look at those average ratings, above 7s, all the way through, 7.3, 7.2, 7.49. Sanchez is one to watch in real life on this game. Nearly played 200 games to Bilbao. Get him in your team. Get him in your team early and get that. Sell him down the line for 135 million. Job done. Let's look at a defender, Ilya Zabarainy. Why did I pick these players? Uh, centre back, he is 19 years old, he's 6 foot 2, playing for Dynamo Kiev, 14 heading, 15 tackling, 14 positioning, bravery of 13, jump and reach of 15, he's spirited, he does dive into tackles, but if you get that tackle on 15, might not be a, a bad thing. He he does have tries long range passes with passing 11, you may want to take that trait off, that would probably do him a lot of good. He's already played 25 times. Uh, for Dynamo Kiev in this save. He's got, to me, I look for heading, marking, positioning for the defensive things. And then because I like playing the corners, I want bravery, jump and reach, and probably six ones my minimum. So Ilya looks exactly like what I would look for for a centre-back. He's going to end up in Europe, isn't he? He's going to end up somewhere big in Europe. He's already in Europe. He's going to end up in Western Europe, somewhere really big. Told you he'd moved to Western Europe. Zabaranyi had gone to Man United. He's now a four-star ball-playing defender. Passing's only gone to 13. Maybe you can get that up higher. Uh, aggression is only 10, okay? With anticipation, composure, concentration. His positioning's excellent. He can head, he can mark, he's jumping there, he's fast. Uh, wide centre-back, if you can get the dribbling up to like 12, 13. That's speedy, spirited. Uh, he now doesn't play long balls. That's that's good. How where how did they get on? Where did they go? Thirty one million in twenty twenty four for Zabaranyi. Dominated with Kiev, then got his move abroad. Like you get him across earlier, he could be even better. But he looks a very good centre back to build your defence on. And if you say in a centre back, you want someone behind him is just as strong. He has Anatoly Trubin. From Shakhtar Donetsk, big goalkeeper, six foot six. Okay, he starts off at twenty with aerial reach of thirteen, one on ones and twelve, reflexes at thirteen. He's got the agility, he's got the jump and reach, and he's six foot six. He is already valued eleven point five to seventeen point five million, but he's only twenty. He's got a good fifteen, sixteen, seventeen years. I don't want to say if you pay the top end there, you're paying one million a year for your goalkeeper for the next. Uh, maybe 15 years it's worth it sometimes these goalkeepers from eastern europe don't make the move the guys like uh i can of those guys uh piatov remember was it shakhtar they don't make that big move so they get trubin in early get them to the best they can be and you've got 
stunning goalkeeper, especially in this game where headers seem to be overpowered. You want that six foot six guy to come and claim them. As I suggested, these goalkeepers don't move. Trubin still only 25, three and a half star goalkeeper, still at Shakhtar. Aerial reach has gone up, reflexes are 15, he's one on one's 15, agility's 14, he's resolute. Maybe he doesn't want to leave, but uh, 100, goal, 100 games for a Shakhtar, he's only conceded 35 goals. Get Trubin into your team, pay that, pay that money, get him in, and make him one of the best goalkeepers in Europe. We'll go back attacking because what we want is goals, goals, goals. Also in Italy for Sassuolo is Giacomo Raspadori. The advanced forward, he's got he's got a good start of dribble and finishing first touch, all above 13. We've got really good off the ball at 16, composures at 13. He's mobile, acceleration, agility. He's got either foot as well. So you could play him as that advanced forward either side or on his own. He is only five foot eight. But he's got enough about him, maybe even a false nine or a deep line forward if this, a dribbling goes up because of the both feet. So I swallow one though, they've got him at 21 to 31 million. He's played in Serie A for a couple of years, but still really young. Still only 21, five years playing a better team, better training. I think he could be, a, he's going to be a massive prospect, isn't he? This is what we're talking about, Raspadori, although he's still with Sassuolo in 2026. Those three, dribble and finish and first touch, tremendous. Physically, brilliant. Composure's only gone to 14, but he's got anticipation 17. Off the ball's 18. He can pass. Uh, he shoots with power. He can play off his back to goal. He runs with the ball. He And he's valued at 73 to 108 million. Consistently scored goals in Serie A. You put him in a better team and he is going to fly. Another forward not as expensive as Raspadori is Benjamin Sesko at RB Salzburg. And they know how to bring in for a striker or two, don't they? Erling Haaland came there. We've got Adeyemi coming through now. Benjamin's 18 years old. And look, at he's already got the physicals. The mentals are on their way. He's 6 foot 4 with 13 heading and 12 dribbling. I'm seen as a Haaland. He's an ex-Haaland. For me, Benjamin Sesko is the next Erling Haaland. I'm saying it now, calling it. Two caps of Slovenia already. He is going to be a monster. And you can pick him up. Or should we try and buy him as well? Let's have a look. The answer is no. No, I couldn't sign him. I tried, they wanted like 30 million. Try to get down to half that. Maybe 20 you can get him for. But still, uh, you can get the next Erling Haaland for around 20 to 30 million. So that's not too bad. Uh, the embarrassment of not being able to get done on camera. Thanks, Benjamin. You're now dead to me. Here he is, Benjamin Sesko. I've called him the next Erling Haaling. He's gone to Liverpool. He's 23 years old. He is six foot five, heading 14, physically a monster. Off the ball, 17. Composure's 14, dribbling, finishing, first touch. It's now valued between 52 and 77 million. He's only just moved for to 30. I told you you can get him for 30. This is 2026. Uh, scored constantly for Salzburg. He's got two goals in four games for Liverpool, a 7.4. I think if you take him under your wing earlier, get him away from Salzburg. Oh, those physicals. Yeah, Sesco. Sesco's one to watch for the next few FMs, I think, if he keeps developing in real life as well. And now, of course, the obligatory Brazilian wonder kid. We're going with Angelo from Santos, the 16 years old winger. Uh, left footed, likes to play on the right. He's got crossing and dribbling over 10 already. Passing's 12, technique's 13. Vision's 12, determination. He's fast. <laughs> he's fairly determined. I he's got everything you'd want from a 16 year old if you got him in your youth intake you'd be very very happy he's going to go to Europe he's going to come across and be a bit of a player obviously can't move till he's 18 so you've got three years in Europe before the five years to see what you can do with him excited to see how Angelo turns out we knew Angelo was going to go to Europe he went to Monaco for 14 million 2024 again yeah, you probably could have got him a year earlier, but Dribbling's gone to 17. Uh, his acceleration, he's fairly fast, he's got agility, he 
Mentally, he's okay. Bravery isn't great, but he's off the ball. His vision could be better. There's, there's building blocks there, isn't there, for 14 million for someone like Monaco, who then, if you get him a year earlier, get him a little bit better, sell him on again. He's a he's an interesting player for someone you can pick up at, at sort of get a, a fee agreed at 16. And the last one of the 10 is William Saliba, playing for Marseille on loan from Arsenal, and apparently, according to certain commentators on BT Sport, will never be good enough to play for Arsenal. If I had this kid at 20, he's got a head and mark and tackle and his positioning's great, his mentals are there, physically great, he's six foot four, and he's only 20. Like, how disillusioned are English football fans that they don't think this guy's good enough? He's now captaining Marseille. Call League on what you want, Farm League, all that nonsense. You still try and buy their players every year. So he is going to be a superb defender on this game, regardless of what happens in real life. William Saliba is someone you can base your whole defence on. I'm looking forward to seeing how good he comes in this simulation. Look at that, William Saliba playing for Arsenal still. It's probably not developed as much as you would think at 25. Uh, the mentals haven't gone up as much. Technically, he's okay. Physically, physically he's excellent. He's still like, six foot four, jump reach 16, bravery, heading. Yeah, he's going to do the business. But what happened to him? Oh, he's just, just oh, he's not played enough games. Look, that's what stopped him developing because all these wonder kids, it's great. Saying all these wonder kids, if you don't play them, they won't become as good as they can be. <sighs> Arsenal, man. I want to, Can someone do an Arsenal save and play Saliba to 2026 and just show me what he's like? Because it's just a waste. There we go. There's 10 wonder kids out the box to look at, to say, and show you what they could be, and show you what they could become if you, if you sign them and play them. That's the most important thing. Sign them and play them. And Lorenzo Luca. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Let me know what wonder kid you've found in the game below and we'll have a look and see where they are 2026 we'll do another video on this at some point i'm going to do keep doing these then when the new game comes out we'll get the editor way i can see who the best potential players are so for me andrew i hope you've enjoyed this if you have drop a like to on the video lets me know you're enjoying this content until next time look after yourselves cheers